Hey you guys, welcome to another episode of this on our show. And I just got done watching another episode of Grand Jury. And this was a pretty good episode. We see Haru trying to actually be a actual leader. He even seen Minato, or Minato, Minato, you know, in his mind, like he's there trying to actually coach him to become a better leader. And it's actually showing that he really looked up to that guy. This, you know, despite that he really did look up to him, and you know, it was his friend, and he was an actual leader. But maybe Haru, he kind of actually made Haru like you could become your own man, you could lead this team, you could do it. You know, you ain't gotta always, you know, like expect me to help you or try to be like me. You gotta be better. And I like his formation. He was actually showing that he was a leader, and they actually fighting in like perfect symmetry right now. They actually showing that they are a good team right now because you know at first it was shaky and they were weak as hell you know Chris he was just complaining about it like they just so goddamn weak they just don't know how to actually work as a team they just totally getting their ass whooped and he just <laughs> you know even John was saying that a lot of people said like you know we knew that someone gonna eventually get killed in this anime because of how weak they are you know around to he's that that they are loud mouth uh, high head that, you know, he kind of be cocky and just try to run in while I'm thinking. And they actually put everything together. But the episode was actually show, um, towards Mary, the bitch. And we found out why she was a bitch. You see, there's always a story behind a girl. Like, actually showing the reason why she the way she is. And, um, yeah, her team got killed. Three of her teammates got killed. And she, you know, I guess she was traumatized by it. I guess she don't want to get close to people due to the fact that she don't want to lose people in that type of manner again. And that's, like, the reason why she acted like that. Like, you know, like with Yumi and uh, Sihoro, or Sihoro were actually trying to, like, well, actually Yumi was because, you know, Sihoro don't really talk. Yumi was to talk to her, like, so what's your favorite food? What do you eat? This boy's like food. Like, she ain't trying to get Kyle's case. She ain't trying to get attached to him because she's seen her friends die. So, that actually showed why she a bitch. So, she have a reason to be a bitch. But, not to mention, Haru, uh, Haru actually telling the bitch dude, or that's the one character, always forget his fucking name, that um he need to wear a helmet because what he wearing right now is not a proper attire to actually fight. So, you know, he heard that why he was actually bleeding for the head. So he got he actually looking at stuff to actually keep his teammates alive, and I see that Mary actually took notice of that. So yeah, maybe she might start believing because she's into the actual team because she's starting to open up. We said good morning. She just looked stone faced and we walked past, and she said it too. So it's showing that she started to uh, open up to him, but she still want to not you know she still don't want to get attacked. So I think she's gonna get attacked pretty soon. But the fight's getting pretty good though. I actually enjoying it now. And like I said, this anime and race is like between the two of them is like the top two animes of the season for what I seen. I guess that Chris might say that Dimensa is like one of them. But I haven't looked at the anime. Also also, um I noticed that if there was a actual battle scene that they skipped because I saw like a review like I get tired of people teasing. I mean, I get tired of teasing. Like, you see Yumi constantly. Well, he ain't say Yumi. He said Miss Redhead keep bending over and showing her ass. And then we get to a scene that we can actually see ass and titty and they, and they just skip it. That was like a tease. No, they just cut it. Apparently, there is an uncut version of the deal out of it that you see the girls in the bathroom. And I guess Renta run in. And he see, like, the like the front of Yumi as he spin around. You can see her ass as she kick him in the face. I guess they cut it due to the fact that there was a naked booty there. Real talk. Honestly. That's just crazy. I saw it all over Tumblr. But, yeah, just honestly, just type in Yumi in the search. You're going to see it, too. But, anyway, if you haven't looked at this anime, for some people look at reviews and still haven't watched the anime, watch this shit. It's a pretty good anime. And uh, tell you guys, thank you for rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out Ebar. The link to buy this on Amazon in the description below. The ebook is four ninety nine. The payback is fourteen ninety nine. And you can watch it on. Oh, watch it. You can read it on Kindle, a for free.
and have a good one, everybody. Peace out.